Girls who were choosing to work on the street are the girls that were choosing to work in the strip clubs five years ago. All those girls that go into it and think, yeah, that it'll be great. Well, have any of them actually ever been able to speak to women who've done it who haven't found it so great? It's playing on people's innocence and ignorance, and they're playing on the counsellor's ignorance as well. Anyone who speaks out against the strip industry is stigmatised and shamed. Of course, this serves very well to shut down or censor any alternative views any discussion, and even the truth. A lot of us are scared to speak out because the backlash from um, being appeared to contravene a woman's right to choose is so enormous that a lot of the conversation is just not being heard. The fear of retaliation is too great. Because we spoke out, we've received abuse, we've been insulted, We've been called liars. I thought, well, I'm a sex object anyway. I might as well make money from it. Everywhere I look, I'm being told that my main source of power is my sexual power. My body's the best thing I have to offer. And so to use those things in your job is empowering. Women aspire to the industry because of this myth that you can become famous and rich. It's perceived as being glamorous because of people like Jordan and young women think it's a stepping stone onto greater things. The clubs target very young women, often teenage girls. Of course, you're much more impressionable to the lies that they feed you of all these riches and high self-esteem. Lap dancing um, is, is often a stop along the way in a, a long journey of, of sexual exploitation. It's a slippery slope for women who were possibly vulnerable in the first place and they can get stuck in a life they can't get out of. In the industry, I, I met some of the strongest and the most incredible women but every single one had experienced abuse. Most didn't even recognise it as abuse. I'd had an abusive childhood and now realise this abuse had a huge effect on my self-confidence and my self-esteem back then. Once you start in the industry, you have so much invested in pretending it lives up to the hype that you're making loads of money and you're so sexy and so glamorous, so empowered. If we admitted how bad the situation really is, we wouldn't be able to live with ourselves. Lap dancing is a foot in the door to prostitution. Every woman that I've known who at first went in for stripping has ended up in prostitution with drug problems and I'd say 75% of those end up working on the streets.
For every Jordan, there are millions of girls who will never become famous, who will either go into prostitution as they get older, or give up the industry and do something else. They'll be emotionally and even physically damaged. To anyone who says that the girls are choosing to work there, I'd say that the self-esteem and the psychological effects of being in that situation can last for years. It's not a long-term thing. It's not nice. It's not something you want to be reminded of. You don't see many lap dancing clubs run by ex-lap dancers, do you? so misguided to talk about choice we know women stay in violent relationships that's not choice just because a woman won't leave doesn't make it her choice to be there this freedom of choice is really not that free not in the society that we live in